In this video, we're going to, going to be talking about quantity discounts. Um, the first thing you need to know is that in Sage 50, uh, quantity discounts only exist in the Quantum Edition. So if you're on Sage 50 Pro or Sage 50 Premium, and you've been looking for a way to give uh, discounts based on the number of, of units that a customer purchases, um, you'll need to upgrade to Quantum in order to get this. So right now, here I'm here in Maintain Inventory Items, and you can see that right below price level, there's a field for quantity discount. Right now, we don't have any setup, so you could hit the new button right here to jump into that screen, um, or you can go to the maintain menu and choose quantity discounts. So here, um, this is a really simple screen. Um, you have to put in an ID, just like with everything else in Sage 50. We're just going to name it test, and we'll say test quantity discount. For a calculation method, you've got two choices, discount percentage or discount amount. Um, really setting them up works the same way, no matter which one you choose. I'm going to do a percentage for this example. Then you have a choice of rounding method. You can choose no rounding, specific cent, or next dollar. Um, we'll choose specific cent, and we'll just say that we always want all our prices to end with 95 cents. So you can set up as many as five different quantity tiers, and you can also uh, choose which of your of your price levels you want these quantity discounts to apply towards. So if you want if you want to apply to all of them, then you just leave them checked. So let's come back over here. Let's say our minimum quantity for discount. Uh, let's say that our first price break kicks in at a quantity of 25, and you get a 5% discount. And if you buy um, 50, then you'll get a 7.5% discount. And if you buy 100, then you'll get a 10% discount. And we'll just leave it right there. Uh, but you could go up to five levels there. And if you don't want that to apply to a certain price level, like maybe uh, you only want this to apply to um, wholesale customers or something like that, you could uncheck your retail price level or wh whatever it is that you want to do with it. I'm just going to leave them all checked for this example. So we'll save that. Now we're going to go back to maintain inventory items. And we'll pick an item here. And we're going to apply our quantity discount to that item and save it. Now let's start an invoice. And let's start with a quantity of one and grab our birdhouse kit and you can see that it came in at the full list price of 129.99 but if i change that to 25 the price drops and if i go somewhere in between it's still going to stay there if i go up to 50 i get a warning i don't have enough on hand but my price drops same thing again if i go up to 100 price is going to drop again so that's all there is to setting up quantity discounts. It's really simple. Um, just remember that you can only have one quantity discount per item. So you couldn't have um, different quantity discounts based on customers or things like that. Um, you can set up as many different discounts as you want, but you can only apply one per inventory item. So that's about all there is to quantity discounts. Hope you find that useful.